Hello my lovely Libras, I hope whenever you're watching this you're having a great day today. My name's Rachel and welcome to your weekly tarot card reading. So what do you need to know this week? What do you need to know right now Libra? Let's get into the reading. Okay, so oh, two cards came out for you today. Wow, so the first card that came out was fill up your well, retreat, rest and refuel. Maybe you've been overdoing it. Maybe you've been burning the candle at both ends. Maybe you've been giving yourself too much to other people. Uh, maybe you need to, and it's been burning you out. You've really been burning out and you're getting tired. And maybe you're having late nights and early mornings and you're not really taking that time that you need for you. So this is about you filling up your well. So it could just be sitting down for an hour watching a film. It could be going out and for a run, doing exercise, whatever makes you happy whatever resets you is what you need to do right now because you are burning out this is kind of like i feel this is a warning sign this fill up your well is a warning sign for you you need to take some time for you you need to refuel your body you need to refuel your mind you need to refuel your energy here libra because you are burning out you are giving yourself way too much to other people right now and you need to start taking time for yourself now the other card that we got was play have fun celebrate don't be so serious maybe you're burning out here maybe this is what this means it's like fill up your well is that you need to go and have some fun. Maybe you're being way too serious right now. Maybe you need to go and do something with your friends, with your family. Um, whatever makes you happy, whatever's going to bring you joy, I feel this is what is necessary for you right now, Libra, that you need to go and have some fun, not be so serious. And just re and having fun can reset yourself. And I feel that's what you need to do here, Libra. You need to go out and have some fun, with your friends, with your family, so that you can reset yourself and you can fill up your well. Because right now, Libra, that is very important for you to do. But let's get into tarot and see what tarot has to say for you. So what does our lovely Libras need to know, please? Justice. What does our lovely Libras need to know, please? So I feel with the justice card here, you've been going through something with, with someone. You could have been going through a court case. You could be going through mediation. There could be something going on at work even. Um, but maybe this is what you've been fighting, what you've been working on. Maybe it's what you've been healing from. But justice is going to happen. So the person that hurt you or whatever has hurt you is not going to get away scot-free even if it's not the justice system itself the universe will not allow this to go unnoticed okay whatever you put out in the world will always come back to you so if somebody has hurt you somebody has done something wrong by you they're not going to get away with it their their karma is going to come towards them justice is going to be served for you which is going to bring you into balance and when it happens this is when you're going to need to go and relax and reset yourself um you've also got these six of swords here so this is showing that you are going to be moving away from something you're going to be transitioning you're going to be moving away from this painful period with the justice card here you are I feel that you're going to be able to finally let it go. You're going to be able to finally move away from this situation and move into something new. So can we have one more card for our lovely Libra, please? What are they walking away from? What are they walking towards? Six of Wands is going to be really victorious. This is something that you have been working on. So you've got two sixes here, the Six of Swords and the Six of Wands. So with the Justice card... Something that went wrong in your love life, in your business, whatever it was, that you took the fall for, that you took the heartbreak, you took the hit for, that's going to be turning around for you. Things are going to change for you with this justice card here. This person, this thing, what this situation is going to be resolved and you are going to be able to find peace with it. You're going to be able to find balance with it. I feel that it's going to go in your favour here. Whatever it is, is going to go in your favour. And then with the Six of Swords here, you can finally move away from this situation. I feel this is something that's been going on for quite a while. And you're finally going to be able to move away from this situation and move into something that is more joyous and more happier time for you. 
Um, and then you've got the Six of Wands here, which again, this is showing that you're going to be very victorious in this situation. So you put this where it resonates in your life, whether that's career, whether it's love life, whatever, whatever area it's resonating in, that's where you need to uh, apply it. So the Six of Wands is showing that you are going to be very victorious, you are going to be very successful in this, and this is something that you have been dealing with for quite a while. Okay, right, on the bottom of the deck we do have the King of Wands, and the King of Wands is showing that um, you are finally going to stand up and... <laughs> Sorry, you've been very focused on something. You've been very focused on something and you've not steered away from it. It's been tough at times, but you've kept your vision, you've kept your focus, you've kept pushing and working and fighting towards something that you want to do. And I feel with the other cards here, that energy, that consistency that you've been putting in is going to pay off for you. But let's clarify these cards for you. Okay, so in the Justice card, we have the Three of Swords. This was a massive heartbreak for you. A massive heartbreak for you. Okay, can you clarify the Six of Swords for you? Six of Swords for Libra, please. I feel as well with the Justice card, when all this comes to an end, it is going to break your heart again. And not in a in a um extremely painful way, but it's just like more a release thing. Like, you know, you'll be able to really deal with the feelings because you might you may have had to put them to one side to deal with something that's far more greater and far more important. Um okay, I'll take that one. Ten of coins and the ace of cups. Right, so with the Justice card, you've got the Three of Swords here. So this is showing that this situation um, was very heartbreaking for you. It was a really heartbreaking situation. It destroyed you a little bit. It had You had to really learn to be and get to know a new you because this situation that happened... It destroyed the old version of you and you had to become someone new. And I also feel with the Justice card here, but when this happens, you're going to be grieving that person. You're going to be grieving. Um, you're going to be you're going to be de healing a heartbreak because I feel for some of you, you've had to put your feelings to one side because you've had to deal with something that's far greater. And I feel that when this when this is coming into uh, to the end when it's finally going to be over with a justice card this is something that's ending for you that's something that is the truth is going to be revealed um you're going to then take that time to grieve and it's going to be painful but it's something that's necessary now with the six of swords here you've also got the ten of coins so this is showing that you are going to be moving away from one thing and you're going to be moving into the ten of coins here so you're moving away from this justice card and you're moving here and this Ten of Pentacles here is showing that you are going to get your happy ever after in whichever way that is for you because everyone's happy ever after is different. But you're also going to be very successful. You're going to be very abundant. You're, walk, you're walking into um, a lot of love, a lot of happiness and a lot of financial wealth here. I'm seeing a lot of money. Um, it could be money for most, for some of you, for a lot of you, this is to do with money. But for others of you, I do feel that you are just going to feel really wealthy because you're going to, this health is wealth, right? You're going to feel healthy. You're going to feel happy. You're going to feel more content. Um, and you, this is, this is like everything that you've been striving towards. This is what you're walking into. You're walking away from something old and you're walking into this brand new beginning. Um, but you, I, I do see for some of you, there's a, there's a lot of money coming towards you. With this justice card as well, that you're in court for anything. There's a lot of money coming towards you here, which is why you feel very successful with the eight, six of wands here. It's like a win 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 situation for you. And with the six of wands, you've got the ace of cups. So you're going to be very successful. Um, you're going to find balance within yourself again. Whatever this situation is for you. Um, it's going to right itself and then you're going to be able to be free here with the ace of cups to start something new you're going to be able to start a new beginning um, full of love and happiness and joy after I feel like a dark period but you are going to be very um, 
you are going to be very happy. There is a brand new beginning here. There's a brand new beginning. I feel like you, you become very successful with this justice card. You're going to heal the broken heart. The Ten of Coins, you're walking into something very financially abundant for you. And it's start of a new beginning full of love and happiness and joy. Now, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Princess of Coins or Princess of Cups, sorry, or the Page of Cups. Um, someone's going to come in with a message. There's, I feel that you've got a younger person either in your life or coming into your life. And that's what's going to build you up. So if this is love, you've got a younger person coming in towards you. For some of you, though, I feel this is to do with a child. This is to do with a child. A child can turn everything around for you. I feel, I don't know, there's, there's something to do with a child. There's, there's definitely something to do with a child there. What's it to do with a child? I want to know more. Can you clarify the Princess of Cups, please? Can you clarify the Princess of Cups? Too many. If you're looking for love, this could be a young, younger person coming in towards you. Um, if it, for some of you, it's something to do with a child. Is this, a, is this whole situation here to do with a child? seven of swords there's been a betrayal there's been a betrayal for some reason and this is why you're at the justice card and this is why i feel there may be a fight over um a child let me know if that resonates with you if that if you know that there's something to do with a child you don't need to tell me just say yes i resonate with that princess of cups i'd love to know um if it if that makes sense to you that maybe this situation is to do with a child so if it, if it is to do with a child for any reason, then do drop a comment in the comment box below and say, I um, that princess of coins resonates with me. Then I will know that I have spoken to somebody and someone understands um, that card because there's nothing else coming through, but it could be a child and there was a betrayal to do with something, which is why you're in this situation. But I don't think it was your fault. Okay, right. The spirit animal that you need to know let's have a look at that so if you like this reading today don't forget to hit that like and subscribe it really helps grow the channel if you'd like a personal reading then do drop do have a do check out the link in the description box below to my etsy shop rm tarot and if you're on tiktok do go and have a um do go and give me a follow on tiktok as well all the links are in the description box below and i will pin them in the top comment as well for you okay so angel spirit guys what is the animal spirit message for our lovely Libras today. Let's do one more shuffle for these. Okay. Oh, the ladybird. Accept happiness and good fortune. Oh my God. Look, you've got the good fortune with the Ten of Pentacles and you've got the happiness card with the Ace of Cups. Accept it. You might feel that you don't deserve it, that you maybe you feel like, I don't want it, I don't want it. Just accept it. It's coming into your life. Good fortune and happiness is coming into your life, Libra. Accept it. And then we've got on the bottom of the deck, the camel, which is be forbearing and patient. Right now, in this situation, be patient. Things are changing. That's all I've got for you today, my lovely Libra. Thank you for spending that time. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a great day today. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.